This is a Google Earth view of the term project study area. The study area is, is inside the pink boundary. And one of your tasks for the term project is to locate three alternate routes through the study area between the start point and the end point. But to complicate the route selection, you will need to consider the impacts on the built and natural environment. Uh, these, impact in, in, uh, these impacts include uh, buildings, which I'll turn those on for you. As you can see the buildings and, the, and their building footprints. Uh, avoidances, let me click on that for you. You have the avoidances, and avoidances include such things as schools, daycare centers, churches, cemeteries, and, and, and things of that nature. Now, the next thing that you have to take a look at will be uh, 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 large building footprints. Obviously, we don't want uh, a transmission line going over a large, a large building. Uh, then we'll take a look at, at the conservation areas. And the conservation areas uh, include a number of things. They include stream, uh, uh, lakes, wetlands, and in this instance, they also include uh, some floodplain um, areas. So then, your mission is to locate three alternate routes and then select the best route that minimizes impacts to the natural and built environments. Good luck. The second video will give you a unique look at a fly-through of an example alternative route to give you a feel for the obstacles and questions you could encounter with your route selection.